Hello, who are you? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna Ten Bensel, and we are going through as many Leak Code problems as we physically possibly can in a year, and we are on question number 86 now. If you've seen my last videos, I had to take a quick break, get some caffeine, get some food, and now I'm ready to jump in to number 86. This solution is in Python, by the way. Um, the question, or er, it's uh, the partition list. So let's get this timer started. I've read through this once. So full disclosure, get add about two minutes to whatever time was here. Given the head of a linked list and a value X, partition it such that all nodes less than X come before nodes greater than or equal to X. And they give us the example here of one, four, three, two, five, two. We get one, two, two, four, three, five. Okay. You should preserve the original relative order of the nodes in each of the two partitions. And then these are the constraints. Now I haven't submitted anything for this yet. And I kind of think I know where I want to start. Maybe. Actually, you know what, let's read through this one more time. So given the head of a linked list and a value x, partition it so that all nodes less than x come before the nodes greater than or equal to x. You should preserve the original relative order of the nodes in each of the two partitions. Okay. So 1, 2, 2, they got moved, but 4 and 3, those are in that order, and then 5. I think this makes sense. Um, my first thought, and I'm not sure if this is the right one, but just off the cup cuff um i'm thinking like a two pointer or uh what else is it called uh like a two list approach algorithm for this um which basically just partitions an element or elements in a linked list or they can so usually how it works is you initialize two dummy nodes um, which basically serve as the heads of both partitions. Um, and I think that would probably be the best because we have to find two things, the values less than X and then the values greater than or equal to X. So that's what I'm thinking of right off the rip here. Um, so, I think that's how I'm gonna gonna go with this. Um, but now we go into the question on how to start it. So, I say, so given the head of a linked list and the value x, partition it such that the nodes less than x come before nodes greater than or equal to. So let's do those two nodes let's do less and greater Oop. i didn't click it less head and then greater head um and then we're just gonna say less is equal to less head and then we're gonna say greater is equal to greater head um, that way, like I mentioned before, we just have two dummy nodes that act as the heads of the two partitions. Now I'm going to have these do be the list node. So we're just going to, we're just going to take this and we're going to initialize it to zero and do the same thing over here. So then we have to do the values yeah yeah okay so let's iterate through a linked list so I'm thinking while if else so while we have a head if the head value is less than X right then we kind of go through it that way um because i think that will i think that i think that should work i'm gonna say while head if head 
value is less than x. So less than x. Um, then we're going to say less next becomes the head and less becomes less next. Um, so we're processing the next of the last node in the less partition. Um, and it should point then to the head of the greater. So we're going to say if else, oops, if else, and we're going to do the same thing here with greater next equals head, and then greater equals greater next, which then the head will equal head next. So that seems pretty cut and dry, I think. Um, then from here, I think I'm going to have to connect both partitions and then terminate the greater partition. So let's see. That would be less next. So connecting less next and greater head next, right? And then terminating that greater side. So we're going to say greater next equals none. And then all we would need to do is return the less head next. Okay. So we maintain all of the original nodes in this partition, then we just ensure that the nodes with the values of less than x appear before the nodes with the values that are equal to or greater than x. Like that's, that's it, that's the tweet. <laughs> so, huh. Hmm, so given a head of a linked list and value x partition, such as nodes less than x come before the nodes, yeah. Yeah, so we did the, the if the node's value is lex, less than, then we append it to the less partition. If it's greater than or equal to, we append it to the greater partition. Then the next part of the less partition is then modified with a linked list of nodes and partition based on the value of x. So, I mean, this seems right. This seems okay. Um, let's run it and see if it works. I'm hoping it does, and it does. I mean, that... Okay, that's fine, that's fine. Um, let's go ahead and submit it. I don't know if I showed this, but I didn't submit anything yet. Um, so we're about 10 minutes in to the medium. It's a friendly reminder. Ooh, ooh, that's what I'm talking about. 90% beats 90% of users who use Python in memory. Amazing. And then runtime 81%. Woo! Haven't had a good one like that in a hot minute. Whew. Okay. I like this solution. Um, I don't think this was a medium, though. I don't think this was a medium question. I think this was a little easier than that, but that's fine. That's okay. That took us about 10, 11 minutes, you know, so I'm not complaining. Um, 
So I will leave this code in the GitHub repo, which is linked down in the video description below. You guys feel free to fork and clone, make it better, make it worse, have some fun, learn something new. Um, I'm just, my heart is fluttering over this solution. I feel so good. I feel like just giving myself a little bit of a breather and some water and some breakfast and some caffeine has really improved the outlook on the, how the rest of these leak codes today are about to go. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.